then this child walked up to me and um, she could not have come at a better time. Uh, her name is Lauren and Lauren said that uh, she wanted to present uh, some money to the hospital and she came up here with her mom and Lauren come on over here honey and you have to talk loud because there's a lot of people, old people out there like me that can't hear real well. So tell me what, what was it that you did in an effort to try to raise money for the hospital? I made hair feathers and I sold them on, on my mom's Facebook account on at, at a tailgate at um, a crash show at my dad's office at my dance studio and at the arms. So do you sleep? I mean, you're, you're out selling your hair feathers all over town. Um, what made you decide that you could make hair feathers? Well, um, I wanted to get a hair feather, but then I didn't know what color, so my mom helped me make these. And then my friends wanted them, so I sold them. So help me out here. How much money did you raise selling hair feathers. In, in, in the check that you're about to give me, how much money are you donating to the kids at the hospital? I'm donating $400 and I raised $1,200. Now, you told me that you raised $1,200 and you didn't keep any of that money. $400 you're giving to the kids at the hospital, $400 you, you donated to Angels for Animals, and the other $400 you donated to the Y, is that right? Yes. So why did you decide that you wanted to give money to the kids at the hospital? Well, I wanted to donate to kids. I wanted to help them, and I wanted to help little innocent little animals, and... Honey, I gotta tell you something. And your mother's standing right here. She has to be so proud of you. And, and you're nine years old, and you're given a check out of your own pocket for $400. That is absolutely unbelievable. We're hearing, this has been a tough day for a lot of people because of some bad news that we've had. You came at the right time, Lauren. I am so proud of you. You did such a good thing for a lot of kids. Thanks for coming by. You're welcome. Ron, 